This is a weird build. Let's see how we do with it. We got Pinky Finger, so it will redeem a lot. Actually, there is one tip I can say. Throw one next to him so they slow down. Um, throw one next to him so they slow down. There you go. There you go. See? Do you see how he slowed down so I can hit him? That's a tip. So there is a tip I can give, yeah. Throw, throw, throw next to them so they slow down so they can't spin as easy. Yeah. Pop deck in. It's tough. Yeah, you, f you throw down so they slow down and then you can uh, hit them. And it is tough, as I said. Probably the hardest uh, person to hit with. Oh, come on. Oh. Good dead hard. Might as well see if he has DS. No, DS is huge. We need that as well, because uh, we're about to lose quite a few gens. We have no gen defense over them pop, so we've almost lost three gens. The hell? Oh, a live horn. <laughs> Very interesting. Don't save him. Nice, that's one out. <laughs> Too high. I don't feel bad for him. I know that uh, I don't really have much with this build. I mean, I have no one at the end which can give you free kills and stuff, but ideally I'd want to kill them before the gens are done. Looks like she's rage quitting. So this should be a GG. Mm. Alright, so she's going to try to start spinning, right? Because I'm close. Wait. That was a good hit. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, as I said, just play it more. I've been playing Pinky Finger Farm for a long time because I know it's the only way you can play him viably. So there's no point learning another way. As you can see, there's uh, two gens left only and that was almost done, weren't it? And uh, most of these people have been rage quitting on hooks, so you can get a bit of an idea if it were any slower. Uh, which it would be without Pinky Finger. Like, that chase would have been at least double the time, minimum. So, yeah. I've been learning with Pinky Finger for a long time. Uh, I've played Killer a lot. And I've played Killer versus pretty much the top players for a long time. So... It helps a lot. 
But I'm I'm just competitive on all games. Like when I jump on some fighters, you'll see the same. Like I'm I'm very competitive uh, player at anything I do, and I try to do well at it. I've only had one bad game today, and with that one bad game, I got like some assholes trying to gaslight, <laughs> and then. Ever since all 4Ks again. <laughs> Fucking stupidity. Uh, El Tape, thank you for the 12 months. Uh, La Rue, if I didn't say it, thank you for the 4 months as well. The 12 months and the 4 months. Uh, Urbane, thank you for the Prime as well, thank you. Could be a 4K, could be a free. They're both the same to me. Gives the item, I'll let it go. Wait until they see my perks. <laughs> this much compared to wild eye slug. Sometimes I do. I load slug for no reason. And sometimes I do play games where there's a chance that I will lose when I could have won. But that's purely for my, you know, what would I say, my enjoyment. Because sometimes playing to win in certain games wouldn't be fun. Like, it wouldn't be skillful either, and uh, I'm competitive towards the skill side more than the advantage. I like skill. Oh yeah, we had no way out as well, didn't we? <laughs> that would have been nice. If I hit her there, could you imagine? Think you sell forward. Yes! Mm, she's gonna die to it. Uh, Pig, thank you for the 15. Ha. Uh, can I possibly get you to play Legion? Yeah, man. You can shoot through that. Yep, it's just very precise. You can do it with Death Slinger as well. Um, appreciate the 15, man. It's very kind. Thank you. Okay, essentially on two perks. Usually when you give me no edit, don't activate. I'm not a player of no ed. I think no ed isn't... Yeah, it, go, it goes against kind of 